Hey, Julian Kraus here, and this is an audio distortion test. Did you ever wonder at which point distortion becomes audible with your audio system? Then this video is for you. I will play some music and test tones with an increasing amount of distortion, so you can listen for yourself when you can start to hear the distortion. If you want to be completely unbiased, close your eyes at the beginning of each test and only look at the video once you hear the distortion. You will then see the current amount of distortion in percent on your screen. So without further ado, let's start with the tests. With the pure tones, you should have been able to pick out the distortion a bit earlier than with the music. That's because a pure sine wave only has a single frequency component and it is easier to detect the additional overtones introduced by the distortion. Music on the other hand has usually many things going on over the whole audible spectrum and this is masking the distortion and thus it needs a higher amount of distortion before you start to notice it. Depending on which device you were listening to, you should have also noticed that you can hear the distortion more easily with the 1kHz tone compared to the 100Hz tone. That's because the human hearing is more susceptible to distortion at higher frequencies than it is to lower ones. If you do these tests with different playback devices like studio monitors, headphones or even the built-in speakers into your smartphone, you will notice that this can also make a big difference to the point at which the distortion becomes audible. The less distortion the playback device has on its own, the easier it is to hear the distortion in the audio signal. Now, are you surprised by the amount at which you were able to pick up the distortion? Let me know in the comments. If you like this little test, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I will see you all in the next one.